good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on this fine hump day Wednesday. Um, I would say, I'm saying fine, it's not fine, it's actually not a very nice day, it's cold, but we're alive, we're kicking. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Um, as always on a Wednesday, I'm joined by, well, as always on most days actually, I'm joined by my other half, some may say better half, Jimbo, how are you doing? Well, you are my assistant, so... According to Coover, yeah. I'd right. love to see you try and set up a stream. That would be funny. Um, uh, yeah, but you're my assistant, so you'd have to do it for me. <laughs> um, still flued up, unfortunately. Don't mm. look like it's ever going to... I think I'm just going to have flu for the rest of my life. Um, uh, apart from that, I'm all right. Thank you. Good. I have woken up with chronic earache this morning, um, which is wonderful. I'm just waiting for the doctors to call me back. So yeah, it's, it's like it's like what's that program called? Wall Emergency Wall Ten. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yes, our night tomorrow night, no Friday night with Mickey Hazard is not going to be happening. I don't think, which is really unfortunate, as we've been really looking forward to it. But. You know, it is what it is. We just got to make sure we're all better, ready for the North London derby. Because by hook or by crook, we are going to that game. Um, I don't care if my leg falls off; I am going. Um, before we crack on and talk about whatever we're going to talk about, let's have a look who's in the chat. We have got Nick in the chat. Says, "Smash a like, people! Big up, Nick. Good to Nicholas. see you." We got Jose, who I know for a fact is at work, who popped in and said, "Smash the lights on the way in during the show, and please subscribe." Before Good man, you Jose. Leave. Good man. Thank you, Jose. Um, Lee Smithy Smith says, "Auntie Kate, Auntie Jimbo, big love as always. Big up, Lee. Good to see you, my friend." Uh, Good afternoon, AJ. He says, smash a like if you haven't already done so and subscribe. AJ. Always good to see you, my friend. Hey, you guys. That reminds me of the Goonies. Sandra. Um, big up, Cassandra. I hope you are well. Uh, Nick is sending Lee sneaky messages on WhatsApp. Just a harmless potatoes in the house. Big up to you. Good to see you. Uh, Spurs GCTV, Graham is here. Says, hi, Kate and Jimbo on lunch. So pop in to say hi. Hope Paul's world smash a like. Thank you very much. Always nice to see you, to see you nice. Uh, big up GBC fan, Drew La La. Um, says, afternoon, Kate and Jim. Hope you guys are feeling better. I feel worse today than yesterday. That's why I've been in touch with the doctors. I think I need some antibiotics for my ear. And Jim is just still full of snot. I've never known so much snot in my life. Just, uh, um, it's, it's horrible because... Um... Wake up and you can't breathe. Could be so. It could be so. Um, but my sister is, uh, is uh, had that cold and it lasted almost three weeks. So there is nasty colds going about. But... GBC, you're 100 percent right. It is. It makes it worse that um, I was a cocaine addict all them years. Yeah, so, but it has been. I have been clean 18 years now, so it should should have repaired itself a bit. I would think. Yeah. Um, big up, Mark CFC. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Shemtan is in the house saying, hey, Princess Kate and Sir Jim Boy. Snuck over here from Ellie and Colin at Talk and Ball, but don't tell them. They should have finished by now, but we're not going to go into that because my head might explode. Big up, Chelsea Boy, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, hope you're well. I love that car in that picture. I don't know what car. What is it? Is it? I don't know. Is it? It's not a Nissan Skyline, is it? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't see Let's it. Let's Chelsea what car that is because it's lovely. Uh, is it full GTX or G? Full GT. Know. That's one of William's favourite cars, full GT. Big up Mick Dundee. G'day. Hope you're well. Uh, love the Goonies. Watched it with my son. He loved it. What a film. What a film. One mm. of my absolute faves. Um, yes, sir. I'm used to my phone. I'll reply to you later, Mr. Royale. Um, is, is it seasonal, Jim? A lot of people are suffering from the pollen. Mm. Um, you did to be fair, you did get hay fever last year for the first yeah, year, yeah. First year ever, I got hay fever last year, yeah. Um, but I don't know, it does seem like just a nasty cold. Oh, it's a yep. baguette. Oh, uh, oh, okay, Jim. Please, may I have one of them for my birthday? <laughs> Maybe one day, darling. <laughs> You've got five, four and a half weeks to save up. <laughs> um. 18 years clean, big up Jimbo. Yes, 18 years clean. Um, I think it's actually nine. Yeah, it's nine. Uh, no, it isn't. It's 18 this year. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Big yeah. up, Nita. Hope you're well. Um, good to see you as always. Um, 
Yeah, thanks for popping in. And we've also got the ledge that is Steve D who's come in the house. Hey. So up to you, Steve. Hope you're well. Um, what a nice bunch of people today. Not that there isn't every day, but, you know. Um, what I want to start the show with is... Sorry. Is this... Obviously, the Champions League games last night proved to be frigging epic, as obviously I think everyone knew they would be. Ridiculous they were on at the same time, but we obviously watched um, the Arsenal game, even though I actually, out of preference, would have preferred to watch Madrid because I thought it would be a better game. The whole Arsenal with Harry Kane thing, it had to be done. But it ended, we won't go about the other penalty just yet, it ended with... Well, what some would say was huge controversy over an alleged penalty on Saka. Um, I don't think for one split second it was a penalty because Saka uh, instigated the contact with the keeper. However, Jimbo, I'm going to go to you and see your thoughts. Uh, um, uh, I know, I love it. That's why I was laughing. Which would you want to talk about? The I'm second talking penalty? about the second one at the end first. Do you know what? I, I I can't I can't get my head around anyone can think it was a penalty. I just can't, and I'm not saying it because it's Arsenal. Because if it was a penalty, I would say it was a penalty. But I can't say anyone can think it's a penalty. He put his leg out to trip over the the goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper was actually trying to pull his leg away. But I just I don't even know why it's a debate. I don't honestly, but I, I mean I've seen I've seen a lot of a lot of uh, experts right say that it's it, it's not like, even a debate. It's not a penalty. I mean, as as AJ said, even Ian Wright said it wasn't a penalty. But I see like people like Rio Ferdinand, right? Um, I see people like Rio Ferdinand saying it is a penalty. So I'm thinking maybe have I missed something? But with my eyes, right, and my I'm going to say unbiased opinion because I would be unbiased either way, right? I just can't see how anyone can think it's a penalty. I can't. But I mean, if I'm wrong, someone educate me, please. I, I agree with Shem. Stay on your feet. He's probably going to score that because he's already yeah. found the keeper. Um, the keeper, actually, if you look at it, yes, he's, he's actually pulling his leg slowly back and Saka lifts his leg to, to kick the keeper. But I mean, for me... Go on, Jim. Sorry. Well, Shem's one hundred percent right. I mean, Saka's um, uh, he, he, he's 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 quite he's quite well balanced. He's not. Mm. He, he, he's, he's got a low centre of gravity. Yeah, he's got a low centre. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so he could have stayed on his feet easy if he hadn't put his leg out to get tripped over. And I'm sure he would have scored. I mean, he's a good player. So why wouldn't he have scored? But I don't. There's a lot of things happening in football. I don't get Kate, and that mm. is one of them. Last night. Right, there was two incidents last night. I don't get that. Was one of them. One is why people are saying that it was a penalty, and the second one, why would he try and get a penalty when he only had to take it round the keeper? But uh... um, I mean, it wouldn't be a pen for me if the keeper had chinned him. I think if anything, <laughs> it should have been an instant yellow for for cheating on for Saka. I mean, I watched Terry on the football Terry's fan reaction, and he went on a hill. Literally risking copyright strikes to try to prove it was a penalty. And for me, I, I, I'm not even on the fence. I can't understand how anyone thinks it's a penalty. It's as easy as that. Um, Tate says, not, no pen in my opinion, but we've seen him given. Clear handball from Gabriel, though. That was not given because it was a schoolboy mistake. Well, this was the other one. I mean, that, you'll never get a clearer penalty. The ref blows his whistle. The keeper plays it out to Gabriel, and Gabriel picks it up. What? <laughs> Why is that not a penalty? Because it's a schoolboy mistake. Well, whoever That's what the ref says. Yeah, but what? You could say, oh, I handballed it in the box, but it was a schoolboy mistake. Is that the road we're going down now? It was frigging a penalty. It's cheating. So if I hear one Arsenal fan crying about that penalty, we all know that if they'd have been given a penalty the other end, Bayern, Harry Kane scoring it, and the whole game probably would have been different. I expect uh, Bayern to have gone on and won it. You know, it's just I literally can't cope with what went on. I mean, Jim, what 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 are you saying? I, I well, I mean, 
<laughs> it's just it, it beggars belief, right? That he's picked the ball up and they've not given a penalty. But it beggars belief that the referee has said that he never gave it because it was a schoolboy error. And it's like, I just don't. I, honestly, sometimes I watch football and I just think to myself, they make they they moan about VAR and the, the refs are saying that they ain't got enough power. VAR takes it out their hands. But they they, they 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 make such stupid mistakes. And last night, the ref that ref should be punished massively. massively. I mean, I, uh, I know what you're saying, AJ. That's why he gets called a secret gooner. But he truly, honestly believes it was a pen. And I've seen other people truly, honestly, like Dayo, who's an Arsenal fan, truly believe it was a pen. But then I saw a mountain of Arsenal fans uh, super chatting him, saying, never a pen, never a pen, never a pen. Lee Gunner said, never a pen. He actually laughed at Saka's attempt at trying to get a penalty. Um, it, 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 it's mind-blowing to me. But I, like someone just said, I hope he does get... Yeah, it was AJ again. I hope he does get some retrospective punishment because that is clear, simple cheating, you know. And it was the last knock into the game. He's already beat the keeper. Go and score the winning goal. Don't cheat. Come on. Um Grown-up mistakes are okay, but not kids' mistakes. Even Egal or Egal, yeah, who I very rarely agree with, he sort of said, "Look, I can. I'm not mad because it's a fifty-fifty. Some people might say it's a pen. Some people might not. And that's another thing. Um, someone said it's not a clear and obvious error. So, you know, the VAR did check it. Contrary to some Arsenal fans saying they didn't, they did because the ref goes to his mic and gets told it's not a pen because it wasn't clear and obvious enough to call overturn it." So, I mean, but yeah, Bayern should have a million, trillion, billion percent have had a penalty for the handball. There's absolutely, that's not even 50 50, that's 100%. I like Ben's analogy. Uh, it's every week with the closet asked. Uh, yo, 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 Leo, big up to you, my darling. Uh, Terry may as well support Arsenal, yeah. He's going to get it off me tomorrow, don't you worry. Uh, if I ever leave the iron on, my excuse is that it's a schoolboy error, yes. I'm just ringing my insurance company. Yeah, sorry, um, I burnt the house down. Can I have compensation, please? Yeah, no, it wasn't my fault. It was a schoolboy error. I mean, come on. Um, big up, Rakesh. Good to see you, my friend. Look, it's favouritism here. Hi, my homie Jimbo. No, okay, just Jimbo. Um, I've watched him a few times. I can't stand the guy. Uh, he flicked his leg out like Wayne's sleep. Yeah, it was. It, it's actually really cringe. We've watched it, Jim. I don't know how many times we've watched it. Yeah. We've watched it from every angle you could possibly imagine. And still, for me, there is absolutely no way on this planet that is a penalty. But there we go. Uh, Terry and still. <laughs> Uh, afternoon, zombie. Hope you are doing well. Big up, Rakesh. Is homie, if my homie is male, then what's the female equivalent? Be woe me. I don't know. What is it, Leo? Is it Chica? Homie and Chica? I don't know. No, because that's Chica. Chikaria. What is it? Chicaria. Chicaria. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I don't know what the girl's equivalent is to homie. That's an interesting question. But, yes, yeah, so, obviously, it ended up 2-2 um, in in the match. I have to say, even though Bayern didn't have fans there, I didn't think it made any difference. I didn't think it felt, imp to me, on the telly, it didn't look like it was particularly imposing at Arsenal. Um, Harry Kane, of course, scoring for the sixth time at the Emirates, the highest ever goal scorer at the Emirates from an opposing team. Um, so yeah, always good to see Harry score. Uh, just joking, says Ben. My mum wouldn't let me use the iron. <laughs> good afternoon, Chris. Hope you are right, well. Chris. Uh, I think he's cool and knows how to work YouTube, but it's poor, Ars but it's poor. Arsenal cheated, or Arsenal are brilliant, they're just cheats. Home girl, oh, I love it. Big up, home girl. I like it. Uh, technically, it's homeboy, home girl, but we're all homies. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, hi, my homie Kay. Also, but you never said we will win the title. That's why I'm angry. Yeah, but look, I was right. Don't be angry. Don't hate the player. You're not right, the player. yeah. The, the season's not over. Oh, do, just don't go there, Jimbo. Uh, big up Beyond 72 saying, I can be punished for catching a high ball in a tiny five-a-side tournament for the whistle, but you can do that in one of the biggest games in the world. Exactly. Exactly. Um, 
AJ says, uh, schoolboy error or not, it was a handball in open play. By the rules and laws that govern the game, it was a pen. Exactly. Yes, let's go. Same old Arsenal, always cheating. Mm -hmm. Same old Arsenal, always cheating. Nah. Good morning, Rectos Madness. Um, at the airport waiting for a flight. So happy to see your smiling faces. Where are you going? Are you going on holiday? Are you going away on business? Let us know. We'd like to know what's going on in people's lives. We're nosy like that. Big up Ellie, who's just gone over my time by 15 minutes. And I'm it's up there. I better get extra food when I come to your house now. Or an extra bit of cheesecake or trifle or something lovely. She says, hi, Kate, my bestie gorgeous chica with the best hairstyle on YouTube. And Jimbo Pacino, cold all gone or is it still there? Jim's full of cold and I've got a raging ear rate, Ellie. Things are shh, not great um, at the moment. So, yeah, we we're going to have to cancel Friday, I think, which is a shame. But we want to make sure we're 100% well for, obviously, our time in London. Um, three days to being in Cape Land, yeah, in Lincoln. Uh, Brian also had no away fans, so Arsenal wasn't even pressured by them, which makes their draw look even worse. I said yeah. yesterday, Kate, I said yesterday... The Kane would score his goal. I thought. I thought most. I thought both City and Arsenal would lose, which they both drew. But I, I saw so many. I saw so many Arsenal fans on social media, right, saying that if we don't win this game, it's going to be embarrassing and people are going to take the mic. And I, I think they forget who Bayern Munich are. And if that you look at Bayern Munich's team, home. but if you look at Bayern Munich's team, they got some unbelievable players. Yeah, you know. And uh, Harry Kane for me, best all round striker in the world. They got, I mean, some of their players are phenomenal. So, whoever whoever thought that they were just Arsenal were going to just turn them over, I've got to be off of their nut. They must have been yeah. smoking something because there is no team in the world that is going to turn Bayern Munich over like easy, uh, especially in the Champions League. When I was on the terrace on Monday, I started reading off the players like I said, Oh, they've got Kane, they've got Sane. Oh, Sane is shit this year. Kimmich. You don't become shit overnight. You do not become a bad player overnight, ever. Um, and, and yeah, honestly, I just think people, including Arsenal, underestimated um, how good Bayern are. And at the end of the day, it's all they've got to play for as well. So all their eggs are in one basket. Um, going to Dallas and Austin, oh, you can pop in and see Jacob. Um, have a good time and yee-haw and all that malarkey. I've, I've spent quite a bit of time in Dallas. And um uh and in Austin and it is it is unbelievable and um uh good strip clubs there. Oh for God's sake, you judge everywhere in the world by the strip clubs. But they've got some good ones there. Jimbo, maybe this is a good point. It could be an allergy. I've got some allergy pills. Maybe you should try taking them and see if it makes any difference. Um Yeah, because I don't I don't actually I feel a little bit. I feel a little bit heavy, like, ugh, but I don't actually feel really ill. Like, otherwise, I wouldn't be doing the streams. Mm. I just, I just feel head cold, blocked up. But I don't actually feel really bad in myself. I'm eating well. Well, that's nothing unusual. Um, isn't that the same as Disneyland, but only better? Yeah, I will. I will give him some anti-allergy things when we finish. Um, I believe by and there was some trouble with. Um, violence in the ground so they had um some games where they were banned from having away fans and that was one of them i believe um jim have you heard any different i think that's what the story is jim sorry is that what you is that as far as i, you I had no seen? clue until yesterday they never had fans oh. there kate oh all right. until you told um, me i had oh, no okay. clue Similar sorry i was thinking of strip clubs i'm <laughs> Similar handball in Brazil versus Argentina in 1982. Ida handled, ref played on, but Ardidas picked up the ball to take the free kick and was penalised because of it. There you go, you see. Um, I saw someone penalised a couple of weeks ago in the um, uh, in the Premiership because, you know, they, they, they fall over and they think they think they've been sour and they pick the ball up. The, the ref said it weren't a foul and mm. he'd, give a, he'd give a free kick for the handball. FC Hayden... Heim did it, Jim. Yeah, Labor I mean, look, as well. they, I know they've been beat this season a few times in the league, but they're, they're still a good team, right? And there was no way that Arsenal were just going to turn up and turn them over. Weren't going to happen. 
Well, afternoon, Paddy. Hope you're well. I said Bayern would be 1 0 Arsenal or a draw. So I got Bayern right, but I said Real Madrid would win 3 1. So I got that wrong. But again, Real Madrid, I thought it, 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 the, that game showed the, the um, frailties in both their defences. <sighs> Because once upon a time, City would never have conceded three goals against anybody. But, but, but do, do you know what? Right? Real Madrid against City, did we expect anything else except a fantastic game? No. Yeah, I mean, two, two, two powerhouses of Europe going head to head. It was always going to be a good game. I said, because someone asked me what game you're watching, I said Arsenal because I want to have a, a, a good old smile when they lose because I thought they'd lose. But if I had a choice, I would have, if I, didn't, if the Arsenal weren't playing, it was another team. I would have watched Real Madrid City all day long. Big up Clay's FN says, you think Saka should have had a pen, Clay? You should be ashamed. No, I said he shouldn't have a pen. Not in a million years. What are you talking about? Um, That is because you ever have given Munich supporters a stadium ban for throwing flares onto the pitch. Oh, OK. But are they right. they're fans at their, their game, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, I um, think they, they will, yeah. Two Arsenal fans, the heritage of these clubs is nothing to them. Yeah. Um, also, stone cold pen for handballing the ball with hand in pen area. Obvious much. Yeah, that's what we were saying. Uh, do you know what, though? Do you know what? I've got to give a big up to a lot of Arsenal fans, right? Let's, let's balance it out because I've seen a lot of Arsenal fans on social media saying any Arsenal fan that thinks it was a penalty is just being biased. And uh, a lot, uh, there was a lot on the terrace last night saying that um, Terry was wrong. There was no way it was a penalty. So you got to pick up the ones that, that are, are being honest there. I spoke to Saad. I messaged Saad and put never a pen, and he put one million percent a pen. I just put a load of laughing faces. He didn't answer again. I wonder why. Uh, Saad, they destroyed him. Agreed. Um, did you see all those gooners getting selfies with Harry? No, but that is so shameless and pathetic. Honestly, all they did was slag him off when he was with us, the absolute turds. <sighs> Um, I didn't like Sane's performance. Greedy, greedy. See, look, I've seen I've seen mixed things about this, right? But then on Talk Sport last night, I listened to some of Talk Sport, and they said this is one of the reasons Tuchel they're getting rid of Tuchel because of the subs he makes, and they saying that he should never have took Sane off. He was the best player on the pitch. And then I've seen other people, like what was that Ben just said that um, it wasn't it wasn't impressed with him. Yeah, I know, Drula. We were saying last night how much we massively miss Harry Kane. Weren't we, Jimbo? I was saying it last night and I was talking to Lee about it this morning and I said it to Lee, and where would we be if we had him? He's such a, a on, wonderful on, player. On, on Sky News this morning, they, they were picking out all the top strikers um, in the world at the minute and... Uh, They've done what they're good at, and Harry Kane come out on top as the best striker in the world. And another guy was up there. I'd never heard of him. I can't even remember his name, but I, I, I never, I'd never heard of him. What does he say? Who's a legend? You for talking about strip clubs. <laughs> um, whereabouts are you then, GBC fan? I'm not sure whereabouts you are. Um, cheers, Nick. Don't keep up with the Champions League. So I didn't know. Is it just a one-game ban? Um, Fried rude is chicken. Um, that sounds like allergies. Well, I've got earache and I think I've got sinusitis. That's why I'm waiting for the doctor to call me. Um, but like I say, we have got anti-allergy pills, so I will give Jim some. Uh, it, it, so the thing with me, Kate, Kate tell you, how long have we been together? 24, 24 years. years. And how many times have you seen me ill? Not many. I'm, I'm never ill. Don't Don't say it because you're temp fate. Touch wood. Touch wood. Um, big up Niall AJ says if you're fond of strip clubs pop around mine I can take a sock off for five bucks <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been to Dallas often but I've never been to Austin looking forward to the barbecue oh lovely um, Jim's thinking about some different types of hand on balls first traps <laughs> and strippers for Jimbo honestly the fans were banned because of fireworks and flares okay they fired flares onto the pitch in the last game, so allowed no fans last night. There was trouble in the stands last night as there was a Bayern fan in there who got a slap. Um, uh, Drew, the story, we had tech problems, but got the stream started late and had to wake up Colin at 5 a.m. his time. What a trooper. Uh, good players, not a good team. Who? Um, I don't know who he means. Uh, I think Will, he means Bayern. I think he means Bayern. 
Well, I thought they played well last night. Uh, Real Madrid's defence let them down. Exactly that. Um, uh, where are we? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Afternoon to Rodney Roberts. Uh, I have to put lippy on today because I don't feel great. I, I feel like I look really pale, so I'm sticking my lippy on to try and add a bit of colour. But big up, Rodders. Good to see you. Uh, Sane's issue is that the final ball sucks and decision-making is sus. Well, he did have a one-on-one -on -one with a keeper where he messed up. Um, yeah. It was gutting. Um, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Bayern have nothing to play for in the league so I can see them going through. All eggs, yeah. one basket, as they say. Two cool if, if, I, if, if I had to, had to put my house... On two legs, Arsenal or Bayern, this season, I would have put it on Bayern without any hesitation to go through over two legs. Yeah, this is true, Ellie. It's not how many goals we've scored without him. It's how many we would have scored with him. Um, oh, live in the Caribbean. Whereabouts? Jesus, I'm jealous. Um, Caribbean's lovely. Smash the likes, people. Loads watching, but no likes bopping. Yes, please do smash them likes. Um, that's all right, Ellie. I'll let you off. Um, as it's you so yeah i mean jim with with the ties as they are it, obviously it's on a knife edge as they say who progresses um i i i think i think Bayern pro progress it's going to be so hard for them to go there and and beat Bayern in Bayern. um i'm not saying they can't, they can't do it because they can do it because Arsenal are a good team, but I don't think they're the same team in Europe as they are in the in the league. So I I would expect Bayern to go through, through my humble opinion, and they and City and and Real Madrid. Oh my God, that's going to be on a knife edge. That one, who knows? It could be either one. I mean, I mean, at City, at City. <coughs> but as you said yesterday, City can can. They can be got at. I don't know that one. I, I, I... no fence sitting. You've got to give an answer. Um, I just think Champions League, right? Real Madrid are the best in the Champions League. So, I, if I had to put money on it, I would go Bayern and, and um, Real Madrid. I am going Bayern and Real Madrid. Same as you. I think but Real Madrid just know how to win the Champions League games. And I, I, Bayern is full of hopium. I really hope that they smash the granny out of uh, Arsenal and uh, Kane gets a hat-trick or two. <laughs> yeah, do you know what, Kay? I was watching a, a stream the other day where they were saying, some people were saying that Foden's average. And it, I, I, someone put in the chat that Foden, Foden is only um, uh, looks good, look as good as he does because of the players around him. He's what incredible, player. incredible player. He's, he's an absolute, absolute outstanding player. Mm -hmm. uh, GBC lives in Aruba. Oh, my God, how beautiful. Isn't that where all the pink flamingos are? Um, big up, Coove says, big up to the amazing Jimbo and his eternal fountain of knowledge and football in divinity. You fill our days with sunshine and wolf and we cannot go without you. Oh, and hi to his assistant. <laughs> Uh, Foden's goal was brilliant. He's on fire at the moment. We're tagging him when he plays Spurs. Yeah, oh my God. He's one of the players of the season without any shadow. Uh, former Dutch colony, but no one likes speaking Dutch here. Oh. Um, big up, Tony Rodriguez says Spearmint Rhino, London. Oh, Spearmint Rhino. I've been there a few times, Tony. I've never been to a strip club. I'm actually devastated about it. I'm not going to. Oh, I'll, I'll take you. I'll take you. Thank you. Uh, my daughter, Sophia, is going to have her honeymoon in the Caribbean over three different islands. My friend just did a cruise there and went to all the, the smaller islands in the Caribbean. It looks amazing. Um, who's that? Dale Bow. Sorry, bear with me a second. I just need to look at something. Um, who's Dale Bowes? Channel 4 Pack Lunch presenter Dale Bowes or Bowes has died aged 28. That's so awful. God. Um, sorry, it just popped up. I don't know who he is, but how awful. Um, City go through, buy and go through. Okay. I can understand. It. There's arguments for okay. all of them. I Madrid. can understand people saying City. I, you put me on the spot. I would have gone yeah. on the fence because Madrid you put me on the spot. With us, Madrid and Bayern. Uh, yeah, but of course it, he does. 
It's a 50-50, that game. It's going to be a fantastic game. I think De Bruyne and Foden will destroy Madrid at home. Quite possibly. Um, Foden's a great player, but Hoybier is better. There are flamingos here, but I've never seen one. They're not native. Oh, okay. I want to go to Aruba. Uh, Jim, you're right. Arsenal the same aren't the same in the Champions League. The reason is the officials, the two competitions, ref in slightly different ways. And in the Champions League, they don't fall for Arsenal's dark arts. Fair enough. Big up and good day to Bob Down Under. Um, yeah, I hope we recover. I'm sure we will. We've got a couple of weeks. We'll be fine. We've just got to stay in the warm, dose ourselves up and all that. Good day, Kate, Jimbo. 2-2 two, two came at the Emirates, so I guess we'll 3-1 in Germany. Come on, you gunners. Are you confident, James Bond? What do you think of the sack of pen? What do you think of the Gabrielle foul that should have been a pen? Please give us your thoughts. Um, oh, okay. Uh, hey, you've never been to a strip club. Come around mine. I'll take a sock off for a fiver. <laughs> He's determined to get a fiver out of us. Uh, <laughs> St. Lucia, Barbados and St. Kitts are the three. Lovely. Uh, big up, Nikon. Good to see you. Um, always good to see you. Oh, my God. Joey Barton's in the house. Uh, oh. For every like, we get a laugh at Arsenal. Um, I'm just reading Jamie Carragher's thoughts on it um, last night. He... Um, Carragher has backed uh, PSG to get to the final. Um, wow. Uh, Carragher reckons um, Manchester City will beat Madrid at home. Um, Atletico will beat Dortmund. And he thinks that Arsenal will fall short at Bayern Munich. So there we go. Not that I'm suggesting for one second you should listen to Jamie Carragher because most of the time he talks like utter crap, but I'm just sticking it out there. Either that um, or he spits at people. What's that, Bo? Either that or he spits at people. Yeah, vile human. Um, yeah, Saka doing the Tom Daly uh, diving. Was never a pen for Saka. He needs to man up this Champions League. This is Champions League, not Premier League, and not even Anthony Taylor would have given that. He cost us there. Exactly, James. You know what? If it goes around the keeper, he scores. Okay. I, I just can't fathom what he was doing. But then again, Saka has been known to miss penalties under pressure, so maybe he wouldn't have scored, just saying. I take my hat off to you, James, for being honest. I think the majority of Arsenal fans yeah. are saying it wasn't a pen. It's only the odd few that are saying it was. I, I said that. That's why I bigged them up, for being honest. Uh yeah, Ian Wright said it's not a pen. Um, Saka was a coward for not taking Manuel Neuer one-on-one. -on -one. Agreed. City held a rampant Madrid without Walker and KDB yet. Yeah, they did. Uh, Barca will beat PSG. Ah, well, we shall see. Um, that's tonight, isn't it? Is that tonight? Yeah, tonight, yeah. Uh, Spine should have had a pen. The ref was awful and Kane should have been off. I do think there's a call. There is an argument that Kane should have been off. That was definitely a deliberate elbow on Gabriel. I'm not. I'm not going to stick up for him there because you saw him bring his arm forward and shove it back. Um, so yeah, I do actually. I can't disagree with that. So the, the ref did have an absolute nightmare. To be fair, I can't see him uh, refereeing your next one. That's for sure. Um, I try not to pay attention to a grown man that spits at fourteen year old girls. Yeah. Um, sticking it out there like Saka sticking out his leg. Uh, Saka kicked Neuer, simple. Yeah, what do you make of it, Guna Country? Give us your thoughts, my love, on what you thought of the game. What you all thought the of the shame. Seasons. Are you saying all the shame that you couldn't beat probably the worst Bayern Munich team in, in a while that are sitting third? I think I think he's all about the penalty. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Harry Kane went full macho man, Randy Savage. He did. Uh, listen up, party in the house at Ellie's North London Derby Day. Yes. Uh, I'd have preferred that the sucker dive was given just so he could miss the penalty for a bigger laugh. Bless you, Jim. Um, I saw you sneeze. Um, hey, girlfriend. Hey, boyfriend. Uh, we've got 1,221 subs. We are moving on up, moving on up, moving on up. So thank you so much, everyone who's continuing to support this channel. It's, it doesn't go unnoticed. Every day, if I get a sub, if I get an extra like or whatever, Jim, how buzz do I get? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Um, so thank you all. Uh, it would have always been a rough clash between Kane and Arsenal due to his Tottenham past. Yep, I completely agree. Good morning, Tigaro. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Always good to see you. Um, 
Gabrielle ran into Kane's elbow, not even in yellow. <laughs> um, big up, Destiny 5. Hope you're doing well. Um, oh, so, yeah, all in all, excellent Champions League games. I absolutely loved it. Looking forward to the second legs next week. Obviously, we all got to hope that Bayern go through for Dave and Danny Kiriakou as well so that they can come to the North London derby because it would be such a shame if they miss out because of the goons. Um, it really would. But um, so, yeah, there's all that. I'm just looking on um, just to see if there's any Tottenham news before we, we just go on waffling about, you know, who knows what. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah. Rio Ferdinand has revealed that Harry Kane said to him off camera that he thinks it could have been uh, that Bayern should have had a penalty for Gabriel's handball. Harry came when he walked out. First thing he said to us off camera, he said, look at this decision. It's schoolboy stuff. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, 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 it was. I, it was. It was a schoolboy error, but it don't matter. It's professional football. It should have been given. I'm absolutely baffled that that's even been given as a a reason do you know what i mean i'm, I'm absolutely baffled uh guna country says it's this simple saka was never a pen he made contact with the keeper and to be fair they should have had a pen when they were two one up but kane should have gone yeah i don't disagree with any of that i think no, no, i don't bit, either i think kane was very lucky um i don't understand why he did it it must have literally because he, he saw the fact that he like remembered he's playing against the goons and was like have it yeah have it jim yeah, have it. Yeah, he's, he he he. he, uh, he it's Arsenal, and he's he's Tottenham, isn't he? But you know, um, he's he scored more goals there than any other player, I think, away player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six goals at the Emirates. Um, he loves scoring there, doesn't he? Bless him. Uh, I miss him. Big up to Tigaro. He's been a member for four months. Big up to you, absolute legend. Um, yes, yes, yes. Big up, Tigaro. Long time no see. Hope all's well. Yes. Don't like it when we don't see people. I worry. Um, is Carragher having a laugh? PSG get to the final. He spits a load of shit out of his mouth. <laughs> well, um, honestly, Arsenal fans are as, are as rare as winning the lottery. Um, the ref turned his back and admitted he got it wrong. Yeah, I, I big respect to the Arsenal fans that have come in here and been completely honest. Well, um, I think I, I think I think there's there's probably more Arsenal fans saying it wasn't a penalty mm. than than the ones that is the ones that are. I, in my opinion, they just they got red tinted glasses. Got hopium. On, yeah, as Paddy said to me this morning, anyone who um, any Arsenal fan who said they they it, it 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 was a penalty have got red tinted glasses on. Yeah. So you know, and that, that happens in 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 fan bases. I mean, I've seen Tottenham fans screaming about penalties for us when it wasn't a penalty. So, you know, people, they it's tribal. Yeah. Um, DJ Green Alert is, is uh, I believe, still travelling the world. I did speak to him not that long ago. Um, he's fine. He said he, he does, he's apologised because I said I was so worried about you. And he was like, no, no, I'm fine. But he's doing a lot of travelling. So, um, but yeah, I will pass on your regards if I speak with him again, Drew Love. Um, last night, big up Philip, by the way Last night was Arsenal's best chance of beating Bayern I can't see them winning at the Al Alliance Arena No, not an easy place to go uh, uh, Gabriel is always holding players Harold wasn't having it <laughs> uh, It's not Kane's fault the defender ran into his elbow Can someone please tell me why Hoybier thinks he can tell Son He's taking free kicks against Forrest I'm baffled Now I heard Ellie mention this earlier Can someone tell me what, what's gone on please Because um, well, he, took, he took a free kick the other day, didn't he? And uh, um, <laughs> he shouldn't be taking free kicks, should he? Oh, and, is that all it was? Yeah, when we played, um, when oh, we it's... played Forest, he took a free kick and just kicked it into the uh, into the wall. Okay, okay. I mean, have you have you seen some of the free kicks that Sonny scored for his country? I know, I know. That is baffling. Uh, and why didn't Sonny say, uh, "I'm the captain, bugger off"? Yeah. More to the point. Uh, all good here, Rodders. Just ticked off with some of the fickleness of the fan base. Not in here, Tigaro. We are consistently, positively consistent. Um, we will critique, but we will always keep it upbeat. And we're definitely not reactive, I don't think, in this channel. So please, always feel you've got a safe space here. 
Um, you deserve every plaudit, Kate. Thank you, Ellen. Uh, yeah, I get it as well. I've seen some horrendous reactions, but everybody's different. Everyone can run their channel as they please, and everyone has an opinion. I just don't like it myself. Hoybjerg argued with Son on the pitch and took the ball off. I didn't even see that. I didn't see him arguing with him. Was I it 3 Jack... 1 at the time? I, uh, it, we, we was. was I think it we were winning, yeah. Yeah, we, we was winning. winning. I wonder yeah. what the score was. I think it was 3 1. Oh, my God. Um... But um, at the end of the day, he shouldn't be telling he shouldn't be telling Sonny to do anything, should he? Should be no, and at the end of the day, as well. Um, Sonny should have been strong enough as a captain to say, hell no, that ain't happening. Get in line. You know what, what I mean? What, what, what was Joey saying there? Uh, uh, sorry, away applications for Liverpool are open, 2,587 with 54 restricted views. What a joke. Jesus. Uh -huh. That's right. not uh, that's not good. Big up, Martin. No, we haven't done the draw yet. You are in time. Uh, Hoybier has that dog in him. Um, not you, Kate or Jim, but I just needed a break. Yeah, I get that. Jim gets like that, don't you, Jim? Yeah. He, we well, in fact, we both do. We go through stages where we we very rarely watch YouTube. We had like at one point we had over a week where we didn't watch a single show apart from doing our own because it can become too much. Yeah. And, uh, it, and the thing is, is, it's there's so many shows on, and you don't like to. Um, I like to show support for all of them. But I will say to people who have got their own shows, if I'm not in their room, I always, always, always give them two likes, one on my one on my iPad and one on the phone, even if I don't go in. They always get two likes off of me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's news today coming out that uh, a Sky journalist has reported that Tottenham are looking to sign... Um, let's see what the name is. You have to read all the way down here. I'm just, oh, in terms of options, uh, they're contenders to sign Tosin Adarabayo from Fulham. Who oh, is Tottenham because his contract's nearly finished. Um, please tell me Nico Williams in talks as well with Lloyd Kelly, possibly. However, there's also a link with a more marquee option, which is RB Leipzig defender Mohamed Simakan. Uh, the versatile ace who can play both centrally and as a fullback could be on the move this summer after being a regular for RB Leipzig. Sky Germany reporter Philip Heinz taken to X said, Sky exclusive release clause in Mohamed Simakan's contract valid from this summer in the region of 70 million euros. He is open and ready for a transfer, ideally to the Premier League. Interestingly, former Leipzig and Leeds United boss Jesse Marsh has called Simakan an aggressive and smart, not to mention fast defender, so he would suit perfectly and Postacoglu. So that's a new name. I haven't actually heard of that guy before, so I'm going to have to have a look at him. But like I say, it's a £60 million release clause. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Bless you, Martin. That's a very kind thing to say. I hope I'm going to see you on the and your beautiful wall tomorrow on the members show. Yeah. Uh, Nico Williams. Oh, please. Cassandra. Yeah. I did see on Sky Sports yesterday. They said that Tottenham are really interested in him. But do you know what this this is it Lloyd Kelly, the defender? Yeah. I didn't yeah. really know I didn't really know much about him. I know he plays in the premiership, but I saw uh, Kuva one day really bigging him up. So I tell you who else really rates him, Adrian Schroker, massively. Yeah, and so does Kuva as well. Mm. We definitely need a left sided centre back, hundred percent. See something because... sticking in my mind, and I remember it was a long time ago Kuva Kuva was bumming him up saying how good he was. Ah, uh, there we go. Simakan is right-sided, right? So that's not going to happen because we need someone for backup to Van der Ven on the left. So that's a load of old nonsense. Uh, Lloyd Kelly, Jesus, I'd rather have Lorraine Kelly. <laughs> I, I've, I've only seen clips of Lloyd Kelly and he doesn't fill me with much excitement. However, trust in Ange. Yeah, but uh, I, I've seen some people that I think know, know put in good content about football bum him up. Yeah. Um, 
A hundred percent. Locatelli is our new number six. I'm going to say it again. I say it every time I come on stream. Zuba Mendy for me. Uh, I'm available as a centre attacking midfielder. I'd love to play with Hoybier. I bet you. Yeah, would I bet you would, cow. Get, um, Ellie. Dirty cow. Uh, we we have put a forty-one million pound bid in for Nico Williams to try to get him before you and Arsenal. Now, why would he want to go to Chelsea? Hmm. Um, I never said Grace, nothing, Mark. Grace Kelly. <laughs> uh, if we're going for TV girls, let's at least go for Rachel Riley. Uh, I think we're six or seven players away from having a very good season. I would, I, I can see five possibly coming in. Um, Jim, how many do you see? Well, coming I in? think, I think I was right last time, the last summer as well. I'm going to see if I can get it right this summer. I think within the first ten days. We have three players in, and I think over the over the rest of the window we will get another two or three players. I think yeah. we're going to get. I think we're going to get six players in this summer, and I can see at least six or seven going out. Yeah, it's a uh, sport build, which is a German magazine, are saying that Tottenham have set their sights on Bayer Leverkusen's Piero Hin Hincape. I hope I've said that right. Um, they're said to be courting the player to try to get him to sign for them. He will be at least 40 million euros. He's only 22. Um, also, we were linked to that Jonathan. Is it Jonathan Tarr? Um, I like him. But apparently, um, he may be renewing his contract, which is why we've moved on to this other guy. I mean, it's sort of like a silly season. There's so much paper talk. Anything could happen, but we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Um, we all doubt if Brennan Johnson before we join. Don't estimate. Yeah, do you know what? I'm not underestimating him. Like I say, um, if Ange wants him, I will. I put my faith in Ange. I'm just saying, from what I've seen so far, I've not been overly impressed. He's not. I've not seen anything that's made me go whoa. But he's only a young guy. Where, where is he now? Bournemouth. Lloyd yeah, I, I since since Kova uh, was talking about him, I've watched him. I, I I looked out for him once. Bournemouth were playing, I don't know who it was, but they it was a big team, and we watched them. And I weren't over impressed with him, but they, I, I wouldn't judge someone on one game. But um, yeah. I, I think Tony, I think we will get good players in. I think we will get really good players. I think Ange, he's got an eye for a player, so I, I'm not worried. Whoever he picks, I have faith in him. Him Capoye. Hincapaye. Hincapaye. I like that. I like that name. Uh, hello, guys. Hello, Mer Merovingian. I still can't get over how much your dog looks like my dog. The only thing is, he's got longer fangs than Jasper. Really looks like him. Uh, we won't get Hincapaye or Tar, both worth millions. Lloyd Kelly is injury prone. prone. Fuck it. Let's play Jimbo at right wing. Jimbo's next. Goal. <laughs> he was a goalkeeper, weren't you, Jimbo? Oh, no, I, I, my 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 position was right back, but oh, I did. Play, I played goalkeeper for a few seasons in another team. Um yeah. I loved I loved playing in goal, but um, uh, I was I was I'll tell you a story. I was manager of a team, and I was player manager of a team, and um, uh, we had another goalkeeper, and he was good, <laughs> and we was winning three 0 with about 20 minutes to go. And so I subbed him and put myself in goal and we lost 4 3. Yeah. <laughs> I let him four goals in 20 minutes. <laughs> Good afternoon, Queen Ellie. How are you? Morning, yeah, hello. How are you doing? Sorry about earlier. Sorry. It's all right. I'm Is sorry. Sorry, Sorry, can we be friends? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just lost all track of time, and there's big cock ups and like lots of lots of shit that was going on. And I yeah. Just, yeah, but you know what? The chat kept <clears> us busy, so I only done two of Bob Adders. <laughs> I saw it. I said to, I, I was looking. I said to Jim. Ellie is so far behind in the chat. She's never, ever going to finish at one o'clock. I was like, I she's miles I behind. too much. I've got to learn <laughs> to be quicker. <laughs> um, what's this? I am reactionary. says, can someone give me a contact number of Saka Diver Boy? I would like to learn from him how to dive. It will help me a lot in my swimming lessons. <laughs> well, um, Ellie, what did you make of the, uh, the Champions League games last night? Um, I thought they were fairly contested. 
you know, two top, <laughs> well, four top teams uh, sort of chumping at the bit to kill each other off. But nobody really, there was stalemate on both matches, isn't it? 3 3 yeah. and 2 2. So it's left a very exciting second legs because yeah. nobody's got the upper hand. But there was some very good football played and some controversial decisions that were given and controversial decisions that weren't given. So I found it quite fascinating, really. It Me really too. A good watch. It was a good watch. Just put it that I, way. Both matches. I, I'm guessing that you've got an opinion on the Saka penalty. Yeah, I think I, I've already said it. I think it wasn't a penalty because he kicked the goalie and then the goalie swerved and took him out. But the kick became be the kick came before the swerve. Right? And, yeah. it, and that way I, I rule it out. And the VAR got that one right, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. I think it was never yeah. a pen. If anything, it was it was dissent. Is it dissent they call it? On on Saka's part. He was cheating. Is that uh, what they call it? No, they. It's just um, not dissent. It's um, no. They call it um, simulation. Simulation. Yeah. 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 Yes. On his part, I thought it was awful. Um, I don't. I trust Angie, but I don't trust Levy. I'm afraid that Angie's going to leave because he's already seen Levy's bullshit. No, Levy's changed. No. That's what he's doing. Only have some faith, right? Well, that's just, Greeks are just, used to bullshit. Just, just forget, forget about, <laughs> forget about what's so happened. Good. <laughs> and have some, have some faith that yes. he's going to do. He's going to do the right thing, my yes. Ange. If he doesn't this summer, and then I'll be with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. We did talk about this earlier. You can't get a more clear penalty than that. Um, absolutely okay. ludicrous not, that they didn't give that as a penalty. Um, did, did Jimbo see my strip tease comment? <laughs> no. What did no. you say, Ellie? Yeah, I put strip strip clubs are us. Um, Jimbo's new franchise. <laughs> <laughs> it, don't give him ideas, any please. Don't oh, give I, used, him I, used to, I used to love a strip club. Yeah, I think um, most men do. <laughs> I think so. Uh, big up, Andy. Good to see you. Uh, Kate, Jimbo, do you guys have to pay to get your kids in football camps in England? Yes. Yes. I think yeah. so. William used to have football. Um, Something yeah, from there he is. Yeah, uh, William used to go to football sort of things, and I always had to pay for him. But he, he doesn't actually like. He's not mad on football. He, he does come down when Tottenham are on. He always comes down to see the score, and he will sit here if we're if we're playing someone like Arsenal or mm. or City or saying here, watch the game. But um, he 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 says he says uh, I always know when we're winning because I can hear Dad shouting the house down and Mum screaming. <laughs> so he, yeah, he said, I always know when we're winning or when we're losing. He said, said when we're losing, him, I, all I hear is swear words come out of Dad's mouth. <laughs> I, I said to him, did you want to come to the North London Derby or spend the day with his auntie? And he was like, no, I spend the day with my auntie. So he's not that yeah. bothered. He knows um, where bread's buttered. You yeah, exactly. Yeah. Talking about bread and butter, right? You see this? Can you see it? This What's is that? how much I love you and Jimbo. I've got a peanut butter toasted sandwich and I put it on hold. <laughs> yeah, hey, I love it. That's what how much I say? love you two. Has it got something else on it other than peanut butter? Uh, butter. <laughs> Is that it? It looks like there's crisps or something on it, no? No, it's, it's um, Benacol ben butter. And oh, I can butter. see. Yeah, it's just nice and thick. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, um, I don't do thin. <laughs> no. No, nor do I. Uh, <laughs> I can't pole dance anymore after Kate pushed it. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, oh yes, God. I agree, AJ. I could give Nadal a game if I was any good at tennis or if I had any sort of athletic ability. Oh, um, yeah. I'm with Jim yeah. over Levy at the minute. I've taken a huge leap of faith this season for the sake of my own mental health. If he screws this up again, I'm done walk talking about the club and we'll walk away. But you'll still have to do Kuva in the king. Um, oh, well, Kuva, you can come and live with me. I'll, I'll, I'll stroke it better for you. I, 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 <laughs> I'm in a horny mood today. <laughs> what was you going to say, Jim? Wait, wait till you hear my Mrs. Puddle Dog messages. <laughs> You're going to crack. You, you better not be sitting on anything high. Just put it up. <laughs> um, Jim, what was you going to say to Kuba? Mrs. Puddle Dog here. Oh, <laughs> I was, I was going to say, um, I think they're Mrs. Puddle Duck now. Yeah. yeah Mrs. 
Mrs. Puddle Duck is me, unfortunately. But oh, yeah, no, no, don't spoil it. Ego. Don't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was, she's my I, alter ego, Tim. <laughs> I, well, I, don't tell me because I always think it's someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be. I might be lying, like Saka did yesterday. <laughs> Saka. No, I was going to say to Kuva that I won't be done with Tottenham and I won't be done with the the no. club, but I'll be done with Levy, a hundred percent. If he doesn't back this manager on now. Him, Jim. Huh? You're going to go and sit on him. <laughs> I'll be done with him. I'll be done with him yeah. because he's got, he's got the, 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 he's got the prime thing now to move us forward. And it's, I know people are going to say he's had the, he's had the prime time before, but he has backed Ange so far. So to carry it on for me would be absolutely, yeah, mind boggling if he doesn't. Mm. You know what? As well, Jim, our recruitment. Like that, there's many people who have said, right? They, BDV and Vicario, they're like our Van Dyke and like our Allison because yeah. they're going to take our club to new new heights, these two boys, because they're absolutely stunning footballers in their own yeah, right. Yeah, I love them, especially um, BDV. I love him. I think he's, yeah, and he's good Massive. looking as well, isn't he, Kate? Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Um, big, big up Rob Belcher. <laughs> Unfortunately, we ain't going to get to the Legends Night on Friday. I've got the doctors today. I've got a chronic earache. Jimbo's still full of cold. The but thing, they the are thing is, Rob, it's, it's, it, it, I, uh, I'm not going to be cleared up. But it, it, I've had it for two weeks now. It's not going to be gone by Friday. And I don't want to go and infect everyone. But what we are going to do, you want to tell them, Kate? Yeah, there's one on the uh, Thursday, the 2nd of May, down in Enfield. So we're going to see if we can get to that one instead. Whoa, that's and Ellie, me. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if you want to see if you can get come as well. Yeah. Oh, my God. Graham Roberts is there, um, Tony yeah. Galvin, Mark Falco, Mickey Hazard. That, yeah. So they I'm always gonna... come to the like, banqueting, um, what's it called? Le, I've, I've forgotten what it's called, but it's, it's in something Grove. Yeah. yeah, it's in something Grove. It's, it's in Enfield. Oh, yeah, I know it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, oh I'll, my god! I'll speak to you about but you're that. You're not going because you're both ill. Yeah, it's yeah, not I fair. Yeah, I feel great, and Jim's not feeling great. I, I, I could go. I it's could not fair because you might give it to them. Isn't yeah, it? I exactly. could go. I could go, even though I don't feel feel right. I could go, but I don't, I don't want to give my germs to everybody. See how you are on Friday, then, or, or have you already told them you can't go? Well, Mickey needs to know for numbers. So I said to him yesterday, look, give it till tomorrow and see how we feel, because I didn't feel great last night. And then I woke up this morning, I had a bad night, and my ear is throbbing. So I'm waiting for the oh. doctors to see me. Oh. Jim still feels rough. So I said to him, look, can we yeah. try and come to the one on the second? I'm just waiting to hear from him. So, But I said to yeah. Jim, we do that one. It's right near you. So, yeah. Like, and you can stay the night again. <laughs> oh, bless you. But I could probably pick yeah. you up on the way and, and we could all yeah. go together. Oh, so. my God. That would be so epic. I know. Right. I know. So, um, yeah. I woke so, up with something probably great as well. Oh, shut up. <laughs> um, uh, Ellie, I'll message you later when I'm packed. Oi, oi. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ellie equals gold, says Togaro. Yeah. Uh, ben oh. bringing the positivity as always. I will believe Levy's changed when I see it with my own eyes. For once, I'm being a realist. Yeah, do you know? Do you know what? Do you know what? Let me answer that. Right. I, 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 I'm I Ben. I'm a hundred percent behind you. You you are a one million percent entitled to say that, and you've got good reason to say it. So don't think. Yeah. I, I I would sit here thinking I'll oh, negative. I understand why you're saying it, and I agree that uh, you saying it is not is not bad. It's a good. It's good. At least at least you're going to give him a chance when you see it with your own eyes. But I understand why people say that. Don't think I don't because I do. Big up, Yusuf said if Levy doesn't give Hoybier a ten year deal, it's time to boycott. <laughs> yes. Well done, Yusuf. You tell them. <laughs> Uh, Ellie, keep your hands off BDV. I know she'd eat them for breakfast. Oh, um, I, I think Kate's first uh, I, in the queue on that one. <laughs> Ellie, do you know what do you, do you know what Kate said to me? Yeah, go on. She went to me. He was he, he he scored, and she went to me. Oh, he's so handsome, and she went. But I would eat him for breakfast. <laughs> That's what she said. She really would. I did. It, he's he a child. Really, he would, listen, put it this way: he'd leave he'd leave the house. Ten years younger. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lee says the Queen is hyper today. 
Yeah, um, I, <laughs> I know I haven't got an actual appointment yet. The doctor's ringing me, but hopefully I will be able to get some antibiotics today. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, <laughs> it's not hard to get in the doctors up here. Kate. No, it isn't up here. We can get a doctor's appointment. I, if I ring the doctor, my because me and Kate are in different doctors, believe it or not. But if I mm. ring my doctor this morning, they get me in straight away. Yeah, you know what? You know, in, in the background, you, I don't know if you can see the candelabra, but yeah. when you two are arguing, I always think it was Kate. On Jimbo in the conservatory. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone, I said, to, I said to Kate this morning, "Look at the whiskey." When you was on screen yeah. with, in Talking Boy, I said, "Look at the whiskey behind Ellie." Oh Look no, there it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice bit of whiskey that is. <laughs> Big up, Chris. He's changed his name. He's not Donna anymore. He's back to Chris Agambar. Big up to you, sir. And I hope VDV don't watch this with you two cougars creaming over him. Do you know the worst thing of all is <laughs> I think one of the most handsome players in our team is Bergvall, but he's near enough the same age as my son. And I was going to gym, oh, he's lovely. And then they said he was 18. I was like, oh, my God. No. I feel like I'm being a if bit you, of a... If you feel bad, what about me? I've got like years <laughs> on you. <laughs> I've been um, with Hoy... Now, is I don't fancy Hoybier. I just like him as a player. I don't. Fa I, I I fancy anybody in our team. Do I fancy anybody? Yeah, I I, I, I wouldn't mind to go on. Uh, go on. Romero. Ben, no, Benton Core, because Romero is me, and so I don't want to upset her. Come on, <laughs> I, I want to live. <laughs> <laughs> but Benton Core's quite tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think we've probably got one of the most handsome squads in the Premier yeah. League, without any shadow. Especially now we've got Dragoosin as well. Oh, no. I, saw, I, I saw someone oh. say that on social media. Oh. We're the top of the most most handsome club in the Premier League. Thank yeah. you, Mappin. What a lovely thing to say. I love to watch your streams, Kate. Thank you for refreshing me up. Thank you for oh. watching. It's a nice thing to yeah, say. Yeah, Kate's the best. Bless you, really. Um, but, yes, we have got... The prize draw to do, obviously, just a harmless oh. potato um, gave us permission to redraw it because it the cost of it, it was ridiculous. In Germany, yeah, because of Brexit, you have to pay um, so many oh. extra taxes, and it was just crazy. And we each said, yeah. "I don't want all the grief for you." It was import That's, tax and airport tax. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so I said, spoke to him about it in length. He said, just redraw it, it's fine. So I am going to send him something else. So we yeah. are going to redraw for the Benton Kerr picture, which is sitting downstairs, all packaged up and ready in my downstairs bathroom at the minute. Hey. It's all in, all in the box. Yeah. All ready to go. Oh. Um, everybody's names are on there still. Um, I had it. Look, you can see some of the names on the side. Again, it was done by how many, um, what level of membership you're at. But are we well, all ready? Ben must be a top member in here. Yes. Are we all ready? You could have one, three, or five entries. So everybody that's mm -hmm. got the lower level gets one, then three, then five. Um, are we ready to do the draw? Yes. Yeah, we will. Good luck, everybody. Ready. I wish yeah, you all luck. Good luck, everyone. And go. Good luck. Woo. Do, 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 uh, Wayne Bono, I don't know if he is here, but congratulations Wayne to you, Bonner. Wayne. You have won this, but with Benton Kerr. Um, I do have a picture of it somewhere. Um, congratulations, Wayne. Amazing. Oh, wow. um, I will get in touch with him. If he's not in here, I will make sure I get in touch with him so we can get that posted off. But um, I think he was in here earlier. I don't know if he's still around. But, yes, Wayne Bonner. Yay. Now that was all. That was all for the English people, wasn't it? Yes. So what? Wayne. So, yeah. <laughs> so we, we, we are, we're going to do one for. <laughs> we're going to do one. Um, we got to get some. We got to get some photos first yes. for the people that are out of England. Yes. Right? But next season, next season we'll be doing a lot of prizes. Of giveaways. Yes. A lot of giveaways. Yeah. Next we season, so we've, cool. we've talked about it, and they're going to be quite frequent. 
You can't um, give Wayne. this puddle duck away, though. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, Wayne, please tell me you're in the UK. I believe you are. Um, yeah, please tell me you're in the UK. Be. <laughs> um, and yeah, I will have to get your address from you if you are. There is a um, on my description of my channel, my email address is on there. So yeah, just send me an email and we'll get that posted off to you this week. So it is a beaut. It is a friggin' beaut. I can it's tell big. you that. Yeah, it is big. Yeah, it's big and beautiful, like me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a oh, joke, I'm by the way. Um, I've definitely uh, got the big thing. Going. I was saying, poor old yeah, West London, is it? Picture. Yeah. Um, he does, he? Well, he does. Yeah, he does. Bless him. Um, I was trying to find the picture I've got of it, but I he's can't find it. He's more cute than good looking. You know what I mean? He is. He is sweet. Um, I'm yeah. attracting my membership if I can't win. Ha <laughs> ha. I am going to get some pictures that aren't framed, signed official pictures with certificates of authenticity, and we will be giving those away to the international members as well. Um, and so we do we do more than one of them, Kate. We, we, yeah, we yeah, yeah. It. We will. Um, yeah. You're very, very welcome, Wayne. I do hope you're a Ben Tanker fan because it's a beautiful picture. Yeah. Um, and so I hope you're a big Benny fan. Because, uh, like I say, it's, it's a great, great picture. I'm trying to find it now to show it to you. But um, I did see someone just put in the chat they don't want to sign Timo Werner, another one. So yeah. I think he is definitely a very divisive character. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because some people love him and some people really do not like him at all. Um, but we will see. Um couldn't have gone to a nicer fella. Yes, I'm over the moon, Wayne, for you, because it is, yeah. like I say, it's lovely. So, yeah, drop me that email. Let me know your address, and we will get it off to you probably tomorrow. Um, but if you do want to get your hands on one, they are on Mickey's Echoes of Glory store, and he's got everyone. He's got Van der Ven, Romero, every player you could think of, and some older players as well. So, um, but like well, Jimbo what's said... The, what's the link for that? It is... I will tell you now. Let me get it here, Poppy. Um, <coughs> love Benny, love Timo. Excellent. This is the link for the store. Um, I put it in the chat. Go over or message me because sometimes Mickey has things that he doesn't put on yet. Um, so if there's something you particularly want, it's not on there. I know Lee was asking me about with Charles and stuff. He had some other bits, so let me know. But um, like I say, there will be lots more giveaways. I don't know what we do, Jim. Just raffles of, like members things again next. Yeah, we we do next. We 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 get some pictures before the end of the season for the yeah. the people abroad, and we do more than one. Um, and um, uh, next season, we will hopefully, ho hopefully, we'll be moved by then. But um, next season, we we do some. Um, we do them regular, definitely. Yeah. For the members, we do regular ones. Yeah. You're staying in Lincolnshire, aren't you? We, 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 we're, we're still talking, Ellie. I don't want to go into that. I don't want to go into that at the minute. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. we're, we're Just talking about private it. private chat, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're talking to you about that. But, yeah, um, yeah this is, uh, yeah. I know it's not a great, great picture. Sorry. I'm trying to do more than one thing at a time, which I'm not very good at. Uh, this is the picture, Wayne. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's get it up uh, and zoom it in. It is lovely. Why is it zooming out? It should be zooming in. It's not zooming in. I don't know why, but it's that picture there. It's got a signature there. It's authenticated, or whatever the word is. So, yes, it's, it's, it's big. Authenticity. Yeah, it's got a certificate of authenticity with it. So, that's it. yes, congratulations. It, like I say, it's the same size as that. And you can see oh. that's my hands. You can see how massive it is. Um, nice. I'm so <laughs> pleased. I'm so pleased for you, Wayne. Um, can you get Levy's fingerprints for me? <laughs> um, oh, I'd have to bribe you with a free holiday to Spain to have a chance of winning. Well, if you're going to offer that, Martin, I can see what I can do. Nice, <laughs> nice, wink, wink, and all that. Uh, <laughs> love you, leave you, lovely people. I have to take mum to her doctor's at Whips Cross. Hopefully, someone good wins the raffle. Ta ta. Oh, Bye. Yeah. 
My brother goes there for his medication. Oh, does he? (laughs) Yeah, because he's got Crohn's disease. Oh, okay. Yeah, Um, he he goes there in another hospital as well. Oh, Philip Bidwell, I assume you're a Liverpool fan. I've just seen that's that's Salah, I think, dressed up in a a robe. Um, Obviously, the the, the, uh, title race has been smashed wide open from the weekend, which Jim did predict. He did say he thought there'd be um, a swing this weekend or last weekend. Has anyone changed their mind now on who they think wins the league? Ellie, have you got any thoughts? Has it changed your opinion? Well, my heart goes out to Liverpool. I want Liverpool to win it for Cloppy, even though he's got Nash's probably the best in England, right? Um, But um, my head tells me Arsenal, but I don't want to admit that. So I'm going to say Man City. (laughs) (laughs) So your heart says Liverpool, your head says Arsenal, but you're going to say City. Also, I'd like to add, I wouldn't want to leave his fingerprints. I want his wallet. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. That would be rather nice. Yeah. Um, Jimbo, you you predicted there'd be an upset or, or or one of the top three to drop points over the weekend, which Liverpool were the first to blink. Do you see that's going to have a difference in the title race? Who do you fancy? I mean, that, without any shadow of a doubt, if you look at the remaining fixtures, Arsenal have got the hardest fixtures. I think. I think. Kay, I think there's going to be. Um... Two or three swings and roundabouts before the end of the season. I think they're all going to drop points somewhere along the line. And I think, uh, (laughs) yeah, and and I think that we've got, we're going to have a massive, massive say in who wins it. But it's very hard. It's it's very difficult because Arsenal, uh, they're playing probably the best football in the in in the Premier League at the minute. But then I watched City the other day and they were fantastic. Uh, Liverpool just know how to win. I mean, they just know how to get a result, Liverpool, don't they? Even though they dropped points against um, Man United, that, that was down yeah. to that. They had that game at one, at one nil. They never ever looked like dropping points, and they made one stupid mistake, which let Bruno in, and then the game just completely swung round. And which happened to us against Forest, but yeah. lucky enough in the second half, we 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 took control again. I, 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 it's so hard to say who, who, who's going to win it. It's if, it, if you had to wage your bets, though. Uh, if I had to weigh my, if I had to put money on it, yeah, I think I would say City. If I had to put money on it, yeah. I think I would, I would say, say I, bet, I think though. City will win it. Yeah, but um, it's it, it, it could still could, any one of them. Who, who knows? All I know, one thing I do know is that I'm loving watching it. Right, because it's exciting. We're seeing the different games, and then you, you if you see like Liverpool slip up, uh, mm-hmm. how it gives the other two teams more hope. But I'm really enjoying it, and it's um it's a bit refreshing that it's a three way running. Yeah. In, instead of every man loves a threesome, don't they? Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, I mean. and some women do as well, darling. Yeah. Um, um... Arsenal's remaining fixtures, Aston Villa at home, Wolves away, uh, Chelsea at home, Tottenham away, Bournemouth at home, Man United away and Everton at home. Who, who's Man- that? Who's that? That's game? Arsenal. Arsenal. Everton at home the last game? Yes. Uh, wouldn't that be interesting if Everton needed three points to survive? Yes. Yeah. Um City have got Luton at home, Brighton away, Forest away, Wolves at home, Fulham away, West Ham at home. See, I think they've got yeah. quite easy fixtures. You want to know the yeah. truth? Oh, and they've got us as well, which hasn't been scheduled yet. Ooh. Um, and then you've got Liverpool. have got Palace at home, Fulham away, Everton away, West Ham away, Tottenham at home, Villa away, Wolves at home. Can Can I see Arsenal's ones again? You can. Uh. There you go. Villa at home, Wolves away, Chelsea at home, Tottenham away, Bournemouth at home, United away, Everton at home. They have got the hardest run. There's no doubt about it in my eyes. Um, They're all all winnable games for Arsenal. They're all winnable games for City. And they're all winnable games for Liverpool. I think this result with Bayern, it's going to be interesting to see how they bounce back from that. Yeah, I think this could have that could have a massive bearing on it because 
they I think they really believe they only had to turn up to win. Can you get those fixtures up again, Kate? Of course I can. Yeah, because I, I want to point something out to you. Right, so they lost to Villa, didn't they? Right, yep. they drew against us. Yep. And what was the other game? They drew against Chelsea away. Yep. Um, did they, I think they beat Man United very narrowly when it went to about 20 minutes extra time when it should have only been eight. That's it, yeah. Yeah, and Ganacho scored as well. So mm -hmm. that, was a, that was a squeaky bit bum time for them. And then who else they got? Everton. I think they narrowly beat Everton 1-0 at their grand, didn't they? Yes. It's like a, a snore bore, bore snore, whatever you call it. Snorefest. Yeah, snorefest. Right, what other games they got? Because it's a bit small. I can't... Is it... Um... They've got Villa at home, Wolves away, Wolves Chelsea away. at home, Tottenham away, Bournemouth at home, Man United away, Everton at home. They beat Wolves at home, didn't they? Yeah. Not that, not that it's going to repeat, but if it does, they're losing the league. Yeah. Because they're going to lose they're going to lose 3 points to Villa at home and then they're going to lose 1 point uh, 2 points to us and and 2 points to the other team I said Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. That that means they're going to lose. They're not going to win it if they repeat well, that. A Villa have got a say in it as well. Of course yeah. they have. We've got a massive yeah. say in who wins it. Massive. Yeah. But... Yeah, yeah. Villa's not going to be a push over for anybody. No. A lot of people saying City are going to win it. Luton says destiny. Um, <laughs> yeah, Philip, I agree. We will have a big say on who wins it. Um, yeah. Klopp could brush his teeth with a boomerang. <laughs> uh, as long as it's not Arsenal, I don't mind who wins it. Uh, big yeah. up, Kate, and everyone in the chat. Just discovered I have gastroenteritis. They asked if there was any stress in my life, and I replied, nothing but supporting Spurs, and they understood. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> City is winning the league in the Champions League. Mm. Yeah, City have the best run. They do. I agree. They have the easiest features. I do agree. Uh, they're probably their hardest game is us at the Etihad. And not uh, no, it's at our grand. It's at our grand when they play us. Oh yeah, of course it's because we drew with them, didn't we? Yeah, we yeah. drew three three. We drew and they've three, got three a terrible record, haven't they, at our place? Yeah, um, they have. And they just about beat us in the FA Cup. All right, they dominated the play, but they they made hard work if, of it. Ellie, if we were if we if that in the FA Cup, if we would have beat them and gone through, right? Yeah, it would have been a travesty on their part because yeah. we weren't we wasn't in that game at any time I whatsoever. Know. They absolutely yeah. bullied us. The only player that was in it was Werner, and they never found him. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I will say. Um, they were talking about putting Arsenal, no, they were talking about putting Tottenham, Man City as the final game of the season. But I think that's a terrible idea because. No, I think they're going to fit it in, Kate, in the week and the, in between the I, last two, I think. I, I know, but I'm saying if they had done that, you, it puts into question the integrity because if Tottenham lose, you'll have people saying we rolled over to stop Arsenal winning the league if that was, <laughs> if it was on a knife edge like that. I um, but I mean, and it'd we be interesting. Do that. <laughs> We no, United no they wouldn't do that. that but, yeah. Ange wouldn't do that. You never know. It, well, if he if he gives Arsenal the title, I don't think he's going to last another year. No, I mean, I personally think Liverpool. I don't think I don't fancy Liverpool out the three. I'm putting them to finish third now. Yeah. I think it's it's Man City and Arsenal, and I think Arsenal. One day, I, some days I think Arsenal will win it, and then I look at them fixtures and I can't see Man City dropping points. But then again, I'm thinking if if Arsenal drop points to us, supposing we beat them, and Man City drop points to us, it could literally come down to goal difference. You just don't know. It's going to be so tight, it's so exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know it'd be nice if we were in that position, but I would be having yeah. a nervous breakdown being that tight. I'm not. If they lying. all lose, and then we win all our games, and we win them. Come on. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> Ellie, you sound like Jimbo. Yeah. I'm like Jimbo's, like, we were born in the same year, weren't we? Yeah. yeah. So, like, we, we're like this, me and Jimbo. You know? But you know what, right? You know what? People are going to laugh, right? It, it's, it's, not, it's not an impossibility. The, the, both it's of them, not. all three of them teams could, could lose. Look at Arsenal yeah. last season. And yeah. how they dropped points at the end of the season. Oh. It can happen. Yeah. 
agree. All the time um, it's mathematically possible, right? There's always yeah. that smidgen of hope. It's like you know Terry Flewers. He said, "You're, you're when you're in a title race, you start thinking conspiracy theories. You start thinking the other the other team have done something. They poisoned your food or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. And you get into that meltdown, and yep. you think the referees are against you. Any decision? Yeah, you do. You get like paranoia over it. Um, I, 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 I kind of agree with Philly here. Yeah. I think that." Um, I think that he has done better this season, Arteta, in his in his management. But I do kind of agree he is he is kind of um, tunneled vision, isn't he? Yeah, he's I think his subs. The keeper hasn't got injured. I think his subs have been um, he's been subbing better this season than he did last season. He was shocking yesterday, Saliba. I thought he was awful. Yeah, he was um, rubbish. I will say, um, what was I going to say? I'll tell you, I can't remember what I was going to say. Jim's made me forget again. Um, I don't think Liverpool win it. They've drawn too many games. Arsenal will lose to us. I think City win it by one point. Oh, my God. It is exciting. It's so, so, so exciting. Uh, Jimbo, I Arsenal will draw... to score first against us. Yeah, me too. That's when we kick in. Yeah. I don't. I want us to score three goals before they even know what's happened. Yeah, that it'd be, nice to, well. <laughs> it'd be nice to keep a clean sheet, wouldn't it? Let's be fair. Yeah. Um, if yeah. Arsenal had any standards, they would get rid of the Spanish Southgate. I, I do you know what? <laughs> I, I'd love, I'd love for Arsenal. I'm going to give him this season and next. If he wins nothing, I'm going to go back to I saying it's complete fraud. Spanish, Spanish um, Southgate. Look, look, let's let's give a let's give a little Spanish bit credit where it's due. Yeah. I know it's Arsenal, but <laughs> he he has done a lot better this season. He, I think yeah. he learned a lot from last season. Yeah, he's matured, definitely. I mean, what I was going to say, I know what I was going to say. One of my favourite, I, I hate bigging Arsenal players up, but I absolutely, Jim will tell you this, I, I rate Trossard so highly. And what a player to have off the bench. Nine times out of ten, he comes on. He makes an impact yeah. immediately. He's such a good player. He's like a little Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, a proper little super sub. And I yeah. don't think he gets played enough for, for he, the quality he always looks. He always yeah. looks tired to me. If you yeah, look at his face, he's but they got, said they he's said black he's rims around his eyes. Yeah, he does. He looks very. He looks a bit tired, but um, he's probably got insomnia like me. <laughs> right? yeah. They said they said uh, I can't remember what if it was on BT Sport or another channel. They said that he scored the most goals in the whole of Europe off the bench. Really? <laughs> yeah, he's the top scorer. <laughs> Wow. And he was even shocked by it. <laughs> Same as me, Drula. That's me as well. I've had three blood tests all come back saying I haven't got enough iron. So. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Steve D, I forgot to bring this up. Expecting trophies next year, truly put in perspective last night. Hashtag context. I assume he means that the standard, I mean, this is probably this year's got to be the lowest standard in the Champions League that I've seen. I don't know if anyone agrees, but there's they can all be got at. There's not... They're not the same teams, yeah. I don't think. That you remember yeah. the old Barca's and Real Madrid's of old, and when Man United were in the Champions League, and Liverpool at their best, Chelsea at their best. It just yeah. seems like everyone can be got at this year. That's why yeah. I said. That's why I said, Kate, um, to you when we were talking the other day about the, the best managers. That's why I said to you that uh, Sir Alex Ferguson and that Man Man United team he had for me is probably the most impressive managerial person and team that I've ever seen. Yeah. It, it because when they won the treble, there were so many top teams around, so yeah. many of them. And they won that treble. And to me, that was just like, uh, it was yeah. superhuman that they did that. Yeah. Yeah, true. And I, I like to big up Bill Nicholson as well, because he won the league as a player and he won the league as a manager. Not many managers have done that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just yeah, thought I'd put that one in for uh, all the oldies in the chat. <laughs> I tell you what, Mickey Hazard tweeted the other day, I don't know if you saw it on, on X or whatever it's called, saying that when he watches Angie's press conferences and his speeches, he really reminds him of Bill Nick, the way he yeah. speaks. Which yeah. I can and see. I, I get that. that yeah. As well. yeah. 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 
Uh, yeah. Pooh says, if we hadn't had that bad run with injuries and suspensions after the Chelsea game and losing four out of five after it, we'd still be at the top with the yeah. other three teams. Mad. Yeah. I agree. I agree. And it's mad, really, because I don't even think we've played that brilliantly this season. We just have found ways to win. This is this is why I've got yeah. faith in Ange. And when I, I said I said on this stream the other day, Kate, when you look where we are, right, we're sitting fourth. We were sitting fifth at the time. We're sitting fourth. We're, we're 11 points off the top, right? And there's people crying about our season. And and in the middle of the season, we did have a real capic capitulation. Capitulation. Um, yeah, I mean, after the Chelsea game, we we, we it, it kind of derailed us. I mean, yeah. when you look at what we've done this season under Ange, it's fantastic. And people saying about our de our defensive um, frailties. Mistakes. Yeah, for, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, it, we we ain't that we ain't that far off off of our defense being. Really, really good. We do make yeah. mistakes, but they're still learning our hard system. Um, I just think we've done phenomenal this season. I really do. And when you talk 11 points, you're talking four games. Yeah. So if, we, if we would have won four more games or or drew a couple and won a couple, we're right in the mix. We was right in the mix. So it's yeah. not – I just think that people – and some people, not all top of the fans, obviously, we've got very positive ones in here, need to take a chill pill and sit back and look. I think, yeah. oh my God, he has done phenomenal this season. If yeah. he finishes in the top four, I, I, it's mind blowing when you think about it. You know, yeah. I just yeah. think that we're we're on we're on we're going to be on a ride here with this guy that we're going to really really enjoy and we're going to see success. And as Steve D has said to me, I speak to Steve D private quite a lot. As he said to me a few times now, to win a trophy is so so hard. In the, in this league and in Europe, because there's so many good teams, but I yeah. believe I can do it. I really do. And there's only four trophies you can win. Yeah, yeah. And like there's when you get four. to a final, you get, you know more or less you're going to be playing one of those other teams. Of course you are. Of course you yeah. are. You haven't been to a Champions League final yeah. without playing Real Madrid, Liverpool, I City, uh, Chelsea when they were at their best. Um, I'm yeah. not going to play Arsenal because they Barca. don't want anyone. Barca. You know mm. this. I mean, it's so hard to win a trophy. If you oh, get to the FA Cup, right, it's very rare. You've you've had the odd season where Wigan beat City or, you know, but it's normally two of the top teams in the Carabao mm. Cup, Chelsea and Liverpool. I mean, even Chelsea playing terrible, you put them in a the final, right, they're going to turn up. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's so hard to win a trophy. But this guy, I think, will, will, will get us there. I really do. Um, yeah, I agree by about margins, isn't it? It's yeah. so, by margins, and you see Chelsea, right? They've got to one final, right? And now they're on the verge of another one. If they beat and... Man City, they're in another final. I mean, e even look, look the other day we played Forest, look right? How bad they are. <laughs> we played, we played Forest, it's one all. Vicario does a, 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 a fantastic save, yeah. And then, and then, um, uh, Chris Wood, it's the post that yeah. goes in. Who I knows know, where that game goes? Game. It's yeah. just it is fine margins in football, and you need that little bit of luck. You yeah. need that little bit of luck on your side in a competition yeah. to get there. And it, it could end up that whoever wins this league in the last few games gets that bit of luck that they need. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. You know what um, it is as well is mentality, right? The mentality of like Man City players, they're so used to winning things, their mental state, they don't panic, they just get the job done. They yeah. know how to get the job done, and that's why I'm hedging my bets on Man City doing it over Arsenal. But Arsenal have got a shout this year, more so than last year. Yeah. yeah but, but remember, last year, they were more ahead. Yeah, so yeah exactly. A so when I say that, I say that with bated breath because they were more ahead last season. Yeah. And they yeah, got I it. Um, <laughs> Not the Arsenal fans, but you did. You bottled it. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree with it with everything that everyone said. I mean, that's why I Everybody always think like, if Tottenham yeah. can get over the line and win one trophy, a League Cup, even that winning mentality builds from there. But yeah. you've got to do it for the first time, and that's what yeah. we've not managed to do. Well, that's well, what Man City won their first cup was League Cup. Yeah, yeah. Now, let me just bring this up, Kate. Right. Tony Rodriguez, we're only fourth because Newcastle, Man United and Chelsea 
had shit seasons. But uh, Tony, you can say that, right? We're only fourth because we had a, a terrible game against Chelsea, which we, we lost players because of stupidity and we got injuries. If that hadn't have yeah. happened, maybe we maybe we're at the top. And when you yeah. got when you look at it, Tony, you've got to be realistic that we're eleven points bit off the top. For for Poster Coglu's first season and to 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 be building a team because because three quarters of our players um, maybe even more are, are new to Tottenham yeah. and new to this system well, you've got to put it in perspective Tony right that we have done really really well this season and we should be proud of this team not be yeah. putting them down and saying that this player ain't good enough that player ain't good enough they've done phenomenal to get us where we are this season. And Ange has done phenomenal. There's always things you could look at and say, because, because, because. At the end of the day, they've had bad seasons and we're having a good season for how how it's it's turned out, having a new manager, new players, new system. Everything in our club is has gone into a full circle where we're changing everything. So we've had a fantastic season, Tony. Whatever yeah. way you look at it. Yeah, you've got to look at it this way as well, Tony, right? Right, so the first 10 games, right, and Postacoglu was busted it out of the park, right? He won, he, he broke records, premiership records, right? He got three ma uh, managers of the month on the trot. You don't get that because you're shit. You yeah. get that because Man United and, and, and Chelsea and Newcastle have dropped off. We still have to do our business. And then that Chelsea game and derailed us. And then we tried to get back on the train and other things happened. Right, and and uh, things were going against us. I know other clubs had injuries and you know they had suspensions, but with us, because we've got such a small squad, it affected us so badly, mm. right? But we've got to give praise where praise is due because yeah. that, that those those days we were cooking, we were really cooking, and it was really exciting. And everybody, even like that, Harry on what's it called? Uh, oh, the Terry's. We're gonna win the league. We're gonna win the league. You know, it was like it was like a younger version of Jim. But <laughs> you know what? what I'm, I was just saying, like we we got to give praise where praise is due. Exactly. And don't think about the other clubs being shit. We, yeah. We've done our job. We've done our job to be in fourth. They haven't. Look, Sorry. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, right? Every. Uh, thanks, Colin. I don't. I've just flewed up still, Colin. I don't feel too bad in myself, though. Thanks for asking. But every club, right, are going to get injuries. Every club's going to have a drop off here and there, and um, apart from a couple, right? It, it's how you handle it. And and at the end of the day, I think in this league, where you end up is where you deserve to end up. If you get relegated, you, you should be relegated because you haven't been good enough. Yeah. And if you finish in the top four, you deserve Champions League. And if you win this this league, you deserve to win it. Because over 38 games, there's no luck involved where you're going to win it by luck, right? You might have had luck one or two games. But over 38 games, you've got to be the best team to win this league. Yeah, uh, Coover, what an excellent comment highlight uh, to outline your, you know, argument. Arsenal have only talked to Preston North End having a 135-year blip. It's true. It's nothing to do. You can you can only do what you can do. It's nothing to do with anybody else. I'm sorry, but it's not, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Eric Dyer threw us off the bridge against Wolves. Don't talk to Yeah, that. see, everybody, a lot of people are saying, I've seen a lot of people say over the last few weeks on different <laughs> streams, oh, that Wolves game, you know. But at the end of the day, we had a makeshift defence in that Wolves game, and we did throw it away. In the last minute, but uh, Dyer yeah. was a massive part of that. But uh, it's it, but that's football. It. That's football. You, we can say that about um, uh, Newcastle. They've had so many makeshift teams put out there, and they've lost games that the that, that they wouldn't have lost if yeah. they had their first team out. But it goes yeah. for all teams. Every team gets injuries, and you it's how you handle it. And I love the way uh, Ange handles it. He doesn't moan about it. He says it's the same for every yeah. team, which it is. So we're we're in fourth, and and I think that. It's phenomenal that we're up yeah. there where we are, 11 points behind the leaders. Yeah, yeah I agree. They deserve to beat us that game. They bet they played better. And and we had a makeshift defence. And then we, we played Hoybier in midfield and he had a pants game. Like, everything went wrong in that game. The only good thing is that Johnson scored in the first few minutes, didn't he? Yeah. And that was it. And then, then it was all downhill from there. That was rubbish. 
That was their um, worst game of the season, I'd say, even worse than Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yusuf says, do you think the quality of the league has gone down this season? Us and City haven't been performing great and Arsenal have been playing out their skin, yet we're level on points with Arsenal and City are one point behind. I do. I think the level's been lower this season. I don't know about anybody else. Yeah, Arsenal have been playing out of their skin, right? But they weren't early doors. True. They were very yeah. criticised, weren't they? Yeah, they were getting heavily criticised, right? And they were saying they ain't, they're they not going to do it. And then suddenly they cranked up and Havertz found his mojo, didn't they? And then obviously Aldegaard and Saka have got a fantastic relationship. It's... And their defence has been their saviour, really. I think their defence, even though they were banging in goals, the defence done brilliantly. Do you know who I think's also got a fantastic relationship at Arsenal? Jorginho and Havertz, because they were together at yeah. Chelsea, they they yeah. know where the other one's going to be instinctively. And they know how to win as well. Yeah, I mean it's yeah, a good co it's a good comment. This mentality on. Yeah, it's a good it's a good comment by Yusuf because um, City haven't been at their best this season, and they're still in the in the mix, and they they want their point behind. Yeah. So they, City have lost games this season and drew games that you wouldn't expect them to. Yeah, they're, uh, they're devastating best, have they? No. I think no. they missed Gundogan. I say it again. Yeah. I always say it. I do. I really do. Gundogan and Morris. Morris well. Yeah. But Gundogan more because he was their general. Yeah. Uh, Conte yeah. took us from ninth to fourth in Champions League with a crap squad and no one complained. Then he didn't get back. Everyone turned their back on him. Ange plays the ball forward and that's why he's king. Look, he, look, he, look, I love let me, let me answer that, guy. He's no saviour. Oh. He wasn't even our fifth choice. And people need to take off their Spurs hats. Go on then, Jimbo. Look... <laughs> Conte took us to fourth, right? And I always back my managers, even though I hated the football under Conte, right? I, I, but I, I was still behind him because he's our manager. I don't turn on my players or managers as quick as a lot of people do, right? And um, the football was crap. I would rather finish fourth with revenge and see f f some far forward playing football than sitting back and just defending. So it's, it depends what football you like, you know, and, and, and how you look at the game. So that's that's down that's that's down to the individual person, right? And I know he took us to fourth with a crap team. And yeah, but you had Harry Kane. Well, we still had good players, but we didn't have a great defence. Let's be honest; it was our defence that, that let, let us down time after time, letting late goals in when Conte was here. But it just depends on the way you look at it, Tony. You know, I'm not saying the way you look at it is wrong. You look at it how you look at it, but I would prefer to look at. My team, how we've done this season, I forget about Conte. If if you people like you, Tony, never brought him up, right? Kate brings him up sometimes, and I talk about him to Kate. But I would never think of him again because he's the past. I like to look at Ange and look forward, you know. Yeah. So uh, I just think to myself, Tony. I think to myself this season under Ange, we've done fantastic, right? And I can only see us getting better. I complained when Conte took us to the Champions League. I disliked Conte from the second he walked in through that door. Yeah, I didn't want him. Did. I didn't like the way he played. I didn't like it the way he, he threw players under the bus. Not a bit of me at all. And he was never going to work at Spurs. I never wanted him at all. Um, mm. So it is what it is. I mean, I, 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 I don't believe everyone just loves Ange because he, he plays forward. I think it's because everyone can see that the philosophy at Spurs looks like it's changing. I think that's yeah. a lot of it. Um, but but Tony, at the end of the day, Conte's gone, right? So uh, oh. what, what happened with Conte, <laughs> it's the same to me as what happened with Redknapp and whatever. The, them times are gone now. I look at the now and moving forward. And I think we were, we've got a good future under Ange, if, as long as Levy backs it. Yeah. I'll throw that in there. Um, I'm not doing negative. Admit a few of our players need to fix up full for us. I have to, that this season. Better has to come. Come on, your yeah. Spurs. Um, yeah. On that note, I'm going to leave it there because we've been going for an hour and 40 minutes. Um, <laughs> I, congratulations again to Wayne. I have received your email, so I will get that sent out this I'll week. Um, Ellie, when can we find you next? Oh, uh, right. So on Brewing Bollocks. <laughs> I've been on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and um, then on Thursday... Are we doing the recap on Friday? We will be now because we're not going out. So we yeah, will so be there. Re yeah, recap on Friday. And then I've got Talk and Ball um, with 
Chris Chris from Meta Football, I think. No, no, he can't he can't make it. He's told me he can't make it. So I've got a I'm gonna try and get Drooler on. Oh yeah? lovely. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get Drooler on, on Friday. Yeah. Because yeah. um that would be lovely. Because Chen, I don't know, he went missing today. I don't know what happened to him. I'm wor quite worried. Because I messaged him. Yeah. Maybe he's he was just, working. I, yeah, I was going to say, he sometimes gets called into work late because it happened yeah, with us before. That's what I think's happened. Um, yeah. But I'll, I'll, I'll message him after the show before I go on Brew and Bollet, see what's what's the dealio, you know? Yeah. It's actually Friday is the Premier League preview, not the recap. The recap's Monday. We've got the preview Friday. Yeah, the preview. Before. That's what I meant. Not yeah, I'll pass 12. Um, yeah. Jimbo, when can we find you next? Oh, my ears. <laughs> Tomorrow, are we, are we yeah, on tomorrow? Well, tomorrow is, yeah, tomorrow at <laughs> half past 12 is the members' show. So, obviously, you're free to jump on. Ellie's free if she wants to jump on to the members' show tomorrow. Yeah, um, I'll Actually, yeah, I'll yeah I love that. I love your yeah. show. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's nice and busy. I like it as well. Yeah. Um, like Knightsbridge and Steve D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AJ, AJ always comes on. AJ, yes. I love. Yeah, yeah, so during the member show, we'll preview the Newcastle game as well. So um, yeah. thanks, everyone, for watching. Congrats again to Wayne. Um, absolutely well done, over Wayne. the moon. Yeah. Uh, great show as always. Brilliant how you draft out free Spurs gifts. You're both amazing people. And Queen Ellie's a star. Oh, oh, thank you. Very uh, much. <laughs> it's going to be, the channel is going to be even bigger and better next season, oh. isn't it? We've got yeah. loads planned, haven't we, guys? It's going to be excellent. Yeah. Um, yeah, please do. Oh, Leah. Hop on with uh, your daughter. We'd love to see you. Mm. I'm going to send please. you, um, Kate. I'm going to send you a copy of the reply I got from Curtis, the um, Spurs Ladies Director. Excellent. Yeah, yeah commercial Excellent. director. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a copy so you can Brilliant. see what you wrote. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and I will get you in there. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, let me let, let me speak. Let, let me Tony. Right, three years into a twenty-four year project, Conte and Mourinho have won everywhere, but not at Spurs. Why? Because it never worked out, Tony, for whatever reason. Because of the players, because of Levy. We can go through this time and time again, right? Yeah. I, 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 Tony, just try it. Try it, right? And take that side of your your football out and look forward, right? And I'll tell you, it's more enjoyable. And harping on the past, Tony, I was a millionaire, right? I was a millionaire, right? And I ain't no more because I fucked it, right? Through taking drugs and drink and being an idiot, right? Yeah. I don't harp on it. I never, forward. ever moan about what we've got or what we haven't got. I just enjoy my life. So if you try doing that with Tottenham, it's exactly what I do with Tottenham, right? Forget about the past. Forget about Conte. Forget about Mourinho. Look at the here and now with Ange. And where we're we going to go forward, and it's more enjoyable, I promise you. There you go. Um, they're waiting for it, Jimbo. I yeah, make Jimbo, sure. I told you Jimbo's Al Pacino in disguise. You did. Um, <laughs> join us tomorrow at half 12 for the member show. Um, and yeah, Jimbo, I'll hand it over to you because your catchphrase is becoming Jimbo, worldwide. Jimbo. I, your, you I, can start Spurs, I love you. <laughs> what was Can that, Ellie? I'm going to start up a fan club for Jimbo. Yeah, uh, I think you need to. And there'll be strippers well, involved. <laughs> I just love this club and I love where we're going. Yeah, come on. I've, I've got faith in my club and I've got faith in Levy's going to do the right thing. Right? Maybe in next season, I'll be saying I made a mistake with Levy, but I have to believe that we're going to, he's going to back this team and we're going to move forward. Oh, Jimbo, right? we are right the mighty Spurs. <laughs> Jimbo, one more time for AJ. Come on. Come on, you fucking Spurs. I love you. Ugh. Tottenham! <laughs>